Hey y'all, it's Jim and Angela here, and we are in Ellensburg, Washington. And Ellensburg, Washington is about halfway between Seattle and Spokane, right in the middle of the state, to the place where you stop to get gas, you get some fast food, and you head stop on your way. Stop your son. <laughs> but it's also full of other great opportunities. Our son actually goes to college here. So we are stopping to have some lunch with him and then doing some antiquing, thrifting, garage sailing, whatever we can find. So here's our adventure. All right, we're going to old schools. Let's see what's in here. I'll look at all these records. Okay, so that place was mostly records. They had a few other things, but it did smell like cigarette smoke quite a bit in there. So we try not to buy things with certain scents uh, to resell because we don't want it to bother others. So we are moving on. We need to find another antique store. Okay, so we saw this sign. So we're going to see what they have here. It kind of looks like some cool stuff. See some kitties back there? Muppet glass. Hot air balloon. A Muppet glass. We see it, you guys. Some Pepsi glasses. But you know what? It doesn't look like they're open, Jim. It does not look like they're open. The lights are out. So there's a phone number on the door. And I called and they said, no, they just weren't open today. So I said, oh, but we see several things that we're interested in. And they didn't seem to care. So there's some uranium glass there. Some cool, some cool tins there. Oh, man. We could have made their weekend. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, so we thought we had saw a sign for a garage sale, but for some reason, oh, isn't that one of That's them? That's not it. That wasn't it? Okay. Anyway, we couldn't find the house, so we are going to a business location called Junk Tinkin in the Berg. So what did you say about it, Jim? It's like, they said it was like the most top 12 flea markets in the U.S. Oh. So we'll see top 12 flea markets in the U.S. Whoever rates flea markets, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, according to whom? <laughs> it's a job I might want. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my husband is leading us astray today. We're on an adventure to find nothing. <laughs> we uh, went to the flea market, but guess what? It's next weekend, not next this weekend. weekend. Oops. I don't think our son wants to visit two weekends in a row. No, that might be a little much. So we are going to a place called Rust and Roses now to check that out. How cute this place is. Metal Sasquatch. Look at that coach. Well, does anybody need a Kotex sanitary napkin rack? Oh, that's pretty. Uh, I don't think we that's can. Kind of a different thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, really kind of it's a, that is really pretty. It's English. Yeah, you can hold on to it. I love this cabinet. How gorgeous that is. $1,850. I 
it's amazing. Whoa. Look at these. These are some big ornaments from Mexico. Oh yeah, the Jolston. We yeah. have another witch like that. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah, we could do that. No, it's stuck in between those two things. Oh, nice. I was inspired by those two hours. Oh, look at that kitchen, kids toy kitchen set. What does this say? Sears. It's two hundred and fifty. That's pretty cool. Chuck a doodle doo. Lots of license plates. Oh, these are really cool. Trees, metal trees. Somebody's talented. Oh, look at this. This bench is made out of skis. Oh, a bunch of chairs put together. That's so creative. ever get confused when you're trying to find garage sales we're trying to figure out how far we keep driving until because <laughs> we saw we saw a different garage sale sign and so we're we're headed that direction but we haven't seen a sign for quite a long time <laughs> so how far do you continue driving before you turn around and just say oh forget it We finally found our garage sale after turning left, right, and left again, and turning around. But to no avail. Just a lot of clothes and items we're not interested in. On to the next. We found another one. We tracked it down, even though there weren't any directional signs. So we'll see what we can find here. Our son might need this. Little music box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monitor. Kentucky Derby. 2016, not very vintage. So the Rest and Roses place was a cute place. Definitely higher retail prices. Um, great place to stop as you're coming through and um, maybe want a little original metal piece or some other pretty cool antiques. Uh, we did end up getting or, a couple things. Or a full-size windmill. Yeah, if you, farm. if you want a full-size windmill, Russ and no. Roses. Yeah. He wouldn't, I wouldn't let him strap it to the top of our car. <laughs> I think it was at least 40 feet we could have done it. <laughs> 40 feet down the freeway. <laughs> Two hours on the way home. <laughs> nice. Or... There was an old horse and carriage. Well, not the horse part, but a carriage. A few other parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we usually like to ship things uh, a little bit smaller than that. Not freight them. Freight them. <laughs> yeah, freight them. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to an antique mall called the 40 Thieves. The really nice gal at the Rust and Roses told us about it and said there was about 25 vendors and it's more like an antique mall so we're going to check that out even though it's the opposite direction of home um it's, hopefully it'll be worth the 11 minutes further east there's 
seems to be a lot of handmade things here. Those are cute. It's pretty. Oh, that's cool. Oh, folk art. Four dollars. Johnny Appleseed. End up there. Hello. Look how cool this is, you guys. This would be fun for summer decor. Three dollars. Take that one. This is cool too. This one is five. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Should I get it? an enamel pot. That is so cute. It's kind of creative. I really like this brass bowl with the feet. Only five dollars. Made in Taiwan, inter pure. To put a lot of stuff in that could be a cauldron for Halloween. And then I found another one of these tins that's in a little better condition. And that's five dollars. I have to look that up. Okay, so that place was okay. Um, we a picked up couple a couple. Of <laughs> we picked up a couple of tins there. Some uh, tray. Um, Jim got a train case. So excited. Let's see where we're off to next. We're gonna hunt for Cleelum. Hunt for Cleelum. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we are in Cleelum, Washington, and we were stopping at the Tuckaway Antique Mall. So we'll see what we can find. Place. Pretty glass. This is a little Hershey Kiss tin. Two fifty. Hmm. We have a bigger one. Look at that guy up there. We found some little cows over here. Every time we have something cow related in the shop, it sells. Uh, this is a pretty cute little one. It's a bank. Look how cute he is. It's 
looks like he does have some little chippies on the top though. I think I'm gonna put him back. I've always liked this look of the little cubbies and the little figurines and knickknacks in them. Sometimes they're a little hard to see, especially if there's a lot of tags going on, but they're still cute. It's over here now. More cubbies. Just like at school, right? You know, these little guys are cute. Now, I love these gazelles. 20% off, too, of $10. Yeah, I think I'll take those. A little cow sugar jar. So cute. Oh, wait. And here's a little matching spoon rest. It's a great Tanala piece. 34, not too bad for a piece that size. I like this tin. The bugler tobacco. Six dollars. Okay, we stopped in this, this thrift store called the Attic Treasures Thrift Store. And I think it's a fundraising thrift store, possibly for animals. I'm not 100% sure. I always like to support causes like that. Although I haven't really seen anything that interests me too much so far. Who's that hottie over there? Ooh, I may have just found a little treasure here. It's a Japanese stoneware piece. I always love the blue colors. Yep. Okay, so that was a decent thrift store. Um, mostly clothes though, and a few linens, but no vintage uh, sheets like we usually like to get. No suitcases. Yeah, no suitcases for Jim, guys. Bummer. Poor Jimmy. <laughs> so, um, but I did pick up a Japanese stoneware platter. So um, that might be worth it, hopefully. Um, but we are done with our day. We're actually going to grab a little something to drink here. Sorry for the bumpiness. Yep. Golden Arches McDonald's product placement. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we're going to stop and see my see my sister. Oh. There's the little product placement. Hashtag McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. You owe us some, you owe us some money now. But anyway, we're going to stop in and see my sister for some dinner on the way. And then, but after we get back, I'll do a thrift haul for everybody. So stay tuned.